Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. The Lord you have been serving does not know defeat. The Lord you have been serving does not know failure. He is setting an ambush for your enemies and they will be overrun. The camp of those plotting against you will be in disarray. The Lord that destroys the token of liars and makes diviners run mad would crush the enemies to be cut off. The Lord in heaven is disgracing them. You should not be worried about those that confront you. They are needed to be around as God will lift you and set you above them. Enemies must be around to watch you rise to the top. It does not matter the type of battle you are in right now. It does not matter how long you have been in that battle. It does not matter how strong or numerous they may have been. Today, in this season, God is setting you high above the conspiracy and the works of such enemies. They would wonder at the mighty hand that pulled you out of their hold and midst. With their eye, they shall see as God delivers you and set you above them. Whatever represents battle and wars in your life, the great God that sits in heaven is ending the battles today and placing you above those battles and enemies. Relax and celebrate because you are set for the top always and forever. Enemies are essential for your publicity. You need men to be clapping and wondering at the mighty work of God while He is lifting you up. Every enemy plotting and flocking around you to put you down, the Almighty God is also working and He will turn their craftiness and enterprise to nothing. They will wonder at their defeat. They will be amazed at their downfall. They would be surprised at the cause of their defeat. Stay tuned and watch Him perfect the battle and give you victory. The battle is not yours. It is of the Lord. Heaven is backing you all along. They that be for you are more than they that be against you. And just like the chariot of angels were round about prophet Elisha, and it gave Gehazi confidence, that is how angels have been deployed around you, and there is nothing the enemies and their craftiness can do. They are with you and are backing you. Forces of darkness stood to withstand the request of David, but he stood persistent in the act of prayer, and more reinforcements were sent and they were dislodged and the answer he needed reached him. This is what it means to war and battle with God on your side. You cannot know defeat. You cannot have shame. It might have been bad for you before, but now you have joined the winning team, and you have joined the army of God and in the company of numerous angels, and therefore cannot be defeated. God will position you high above those that want to raise a standard against you because you represent Him here on earth. There is a victory for you. They may have conspired against you at your place of work to disgrace you and ensure you are sent off because of your godly standard and principles. You are not the first to experience that. That is not unaware as they did to Daniel. God will stand strong and sure for you. It is a victory for you in disguise. It is a win-win for you. They will send you off thinking they have won, but God will take you to another place and promote you, and the same people that sent you off would come begging you for help and approval. This is what happened to Joseph. His brothers conspired and became his enemies and sold him off to slavery. In Egypt, his master's wife became an enemy to win, but he did not fall for the antics of the enemy. Do not let down your guard. Do not allow them to win. Do not fall because of them. Remain in the camp of God, and like he promoted Daniel against the enemies and saved him from lions, he will do for you. The same brothers that became enemies and sold Joseph off came back to him for help and assistance, and he became their leader and head. This is what God will do for you. He will turn their actions and works to your favor. 
they will come back to beg. They will remain below you. You have been lifted because you have decided to stay in camp with God. It is not time to change camp. It is not time to compromise. If you compromise this time, you will be disgraced because God is set to give you victory. You have been patient and you will take the final victory with God. It does not matter how strong or many they look. It does not matter how formidable they are in their strategies. It does not matter who is in their company. Know that one with God is the majority. God has not forgotten about you. He would give you the loudest victory. He will give you victory and peace at last, and the lifting and victory He will give you would last. They will not see your end, but you shall see their defeat. In their ambush, they would turn against themselves and you would pass through and walk over in style. The Lord is with you and for you, and He will set an ambush against your enemies to the point that they who have conspired against you will mysteriously turn against themselves. He has given His angels charge over you, and they will not allow any harm to come your way. They will hear the foot of angelic soldiers coming to fight them for your sake and would flee in fear. You will take over their loot. Their resources will become your possession. You will have plenty to take over from the spoils that they have left. They will run in haste and would never return to hunt you again. God is settling you and giving you permanent victory. The Lord himself will prepare and serve your feast. He will make your enemies sit on the outer fringe of the scene and watch everything unfold. Your enemies will see the Lord Himself filling your table with food, escorting you to your seat and waiting on you. Then they watch as you fill up your soul with heaven's delightful fare. Your enemies would be in shock. No demon power, including the devil himself, could ever comprehend this kind of love mercy and grace they were ready to gloat as you fell into despair now they have been ordered to watch as you feast on food served by god himself believe this from the lord his word says of the righteous his enemies will i clothe with shame but upon himself shall his crown flourish in psalm chapter 132 verse 18 as you dig into the glorious food before you, the Lord whispers in your ear, You do not have to worry about any of these enemies. They are not able to do anything against you. They intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord, says the Lord. Know this and be filled with confidence. You cannot fail. You cannot lose. You cannot end in shame. 